And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take this free image from Design Space and turn it into a Pio stencil. As you can see, there's a lot of bridging done here. And how I got there is I went to Images. I filtered by free right here. I took the filters and filtered and I checked the box free. Up here I searched for egg and these are the results that came. I'm using this one in my example so I clicked on it and chose insert image. Then I brought in a shape, a box, square. Unlock the bottom left corner and then size that down to a size relative to the images that I'm image that I'm working on and you will need a bridge for every closed space so the top of this that kind of looks like a cracked egg shape a little bit is closed there's no if you were inside this space right here you would have no escape no way out so that needs a bridge and then just for stability, I would do one on either side of all of these places. So you brought in a square, unlocked the corner, resized it so that it fits in the project, and then I duplicate, make a bunch of them so that I have them, and place them. So for instance, if I hadn't already placed this one, I would bring this shape over here and place it. And as you can see, just for the keeping the time of the video down, I went ahead and already placed them. Now, now that I have all of those placed, I would choose one. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to get rid of all of these so that they're not in my layers panel over here. Choose a square and then scroll down and choose the egg and slice. And now up at the top of the layers panel will be all the scraps. So I'm going to get rid of these top three scraps. Delete. And it was this one right here on the side. So that made a bridge. I'm going to choose another square. And my egg. And slice. And there are three scraps. The three scraps are always toward the top of the layers panel. Delete. You can see the egg was kind of in the middle of it, so I didn't delete that one. I just made one long one across all of the circles so that I didn't have to do them individually. I made that square a little bit longer. And I'm going to choose the egg and slice. Scraps and scraps and scraps. So there's three that are trash there. Delete. And that just bridged all of those circles. Next square, and my egg, slice. Get rid of the three scraps, delete. And we're just going to continue this process until all of those bridges have been made with choosing two items being one of these squares, the egg, and slicing, and then deleting the three scraps that are not the egg, obviously. Got the egg and slice, delete these three. So once you've got all of your bridges placed, it really isn't that difficult. Depends on how many you have as to how time consuming it is. But you can see that this is going rather quickly and we're already almost done. Delete. Slice. Only have a few of these left. Get rid of those. Grab this one. Slice. Get rid of the scraps. Slice. Get rid of the scraps. And one left. And then we will go through and look at all of those closed spaces and make sure that all of them have been bridges, that there is an escape from every space. So I would just start at the top 
I usually just go down from the top or the bottom either way and make sure there's an exit in every one of these areas. At least one exit. I like the idea of having two because it gives a little more stability for your plastic. And this area right here is not bridged. So what we're going to do there is insert another square. And I'll do that one like I did these I had angled so I didn't do the straight across like I did with the circles in the middle but this one I'll just do one going straight across place this over that area and grab the egg slice and then get rid of those scraps. Okay, so as we're going back down there, rechecking, all of those areas have exits. So this would be ready to go. All you would need to do now is size it appropriately for your cookie. Uh, let's say you were going to put that on a three inch cookie, so I would go up here and change the height to like 2.75 maybe whatever your preference is for your cookie. Insert a square, this would be my stencil frame. Place this over it and arrange and bring that to the front so I can see it. Make my square 5.5 inches. And now I'm going to center that. So I chose both items. Up here a line, center and down here in your layers panel attach so this is ready to go to the make it screen and that's what that would look like on your make it screen you would place your plastic here and that would be ready to cut you would just hit continue and you can cut that on uh, whatever setting is appropriate for the material you are using if you have any questions please feel free to place them in the comments have a great day